Pretty big news. Yeah, we're very excited about that. Uh, uh, 2020 at the Cliffs Falls, and we'll be hosting an NCAA region. Um, long time coming. That's one of the reasons that we started the Clemson Invitational, uh, was to get, you know, to show the NCAA golf world that we can run a premium collegiate golf championship. Um, we put the bids in last year for 2019, 20, and 21, and we got it on 20. So it'll be good. Hopefully we can get on that on that rotation to where we'll get a regional site about every three or four years. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So. What does that do for the program, just college golf in general for the state? Well, it means we get to play at home. Um, <laughs> if, if, if you host the regionals and you make regionals, then you get to play at home, regardless of your ranking or your seed or whatever. Um, and that's kind of an incentive for for all the teams throughout the country to, to try to host regionals. If they didn't do that, they would probably have a hard time getting people to host six regionals. You know, we went from three to four about like, ten years ago, yeah. probably. And it, I mean, three to six. Three and to it's, six. Uh, it's tough finding six spots to host regionals. But this is a great incentive. It lets us play at home. Um, you know, should, should be a big advantage for us. And it's something that we've never been able to do. You know, finally the flag came down, and now we can host a regional. So we're we're really excited. Speaking of playing at home or near home, what's it like to be playing in South Carolina this week for the AC Championship? It's, I can only remember they did a spring fling in Atlanta. This was in 97. Right. Um, we were at White Columns or, or the some place in Florida once. Too. And then we went to Disney World. When Florida State came into the league, they wanted to kind of thank Florida State and all our spring sports played at Disney World. Other than those two times, I can't ever remember the ACC championship being out of the state of North Carolina. So it's really going to be a different deal. First time since 64. It's been in First time since 64. Okay. Wow. Um, but they picked a great, a great venue. Musgrove is a great golf course. It is an Arnold Palmer design. It'll be tough. Um, it'll be a true test. So we're really looking looking forward to going there. I don't have anybody that's played it other than me and Coach Bird and <laughs> and a guy on our team, Coleman Self. Their family is a member. He's the only guy that could play it, but he's not in my lineup. So none of our current players or top five players have played it before. So it'll be a It'll be a virtual, kind of neutral site for everybody in the league. Well, your familiarity with it, how can you get that across your players? We've, we, we've gone over it, and we ordered yardage books. Um, and we do a thing called stra strike line, which they go in and survey the greens, and you get all the all the slopes, and, and they, you get digital readouts of the greens. We've done all that. Um, I do know they've built some new tees. Since I played it, last time I played it was in 1994. So it's, it's been a while since I was there. Um, but the, you know, the shape of the shots will still be the same. It, even if they built new tees, it just meant it was it, it would it will go from a three way to a driver. You know, so it, it, it shouldn't be shouldn't be too you know too different. I remember it being very tight. I remember the green complexes being crazy. They'll be huge. It's typical R Paul. Massive greens. There'll be quadrants and, and different, you know, there might be three different greens really on one green. And you've got to get your ball in this particular area. Um, so those are the kind of things that we're really going to have to do a good job of Thursday during the touchdown.